Describe for me, from your perspective, that flight to Penn State. You're on this plane. You have no idea if Jim Harbaugh is going to be the coach there or not. You have no idea if you're going to be the coach of this game or not. What was that flight like that day? Uh, I mean, the flight there, we're, I mean, we kind of, you know, we heard rumblings. We didn't really know. And I'm sitting right by a coach. And we're, like, on the plane. We got Wi-Fi and, like, twiddling through our phones, not really watching movies. And then, like, we land. And when we land, that's when we all see it. Like, coach is not you know, he's going to be suspended, whatever. And, you know, we're sitting on the bus, driving on the bus, talking about, you know, different options. He's like, well, should I fight it? And and this is the, the best part about coach. He's like, well, you know what? If I don't fight it, it'll be, you know, it will, you know, they'll stop talking about me and it'll be all about the players. He's like, because I don't want to fight it. And then them continue to talk about me. He said, it's about the players. He's like, I think we're going to win anyway. So I, I don't want to, make this about me i should just you know i should just sit out and and you know you handle it and let it be about the players and i was like coach we we need you there uh we want you there um so initially he he you know he put a fight you know he fought for but you know whatever happened didn't happen and the players just you know that's when the bet started we were at dinner and the guys were they chris jenkins i think tweeted it out and then jj did and then the rest of them did and it was just like a, okay, you're going to take our coach from us. You think that's going to stop us? And it was a, a very big boulder that was on their shoulder that they thought um, they wanted to prove themselves right, not necessarily prove doubters wrong. And, you know, the results are the results. So how did you handle it, putting the headset on? Yeah, you know, yeah, for me, it was a uh, – I, I was extremely confident in our team and the way that they practiced, the way they prepared at that moment. Yeah, obviously it was a surreal moment for me because, there were, you know, we were going back and forth uh, whether Coach would be able to coach. And we were waiting at the – he was waiting at the hotel, and then our AD Ward manual came on about 90 minutes before the game kicked off and said, hey, uh, we got you. You know, you're going to coach the game. And I, I, you just heavily relied on the staff, everybody we have. We had an amazing – we have an amazing staff. So that was uh, very humbling. There was not any nerves, not any anxiety. I was just super excited to watch the boys play. Well, and I mean, and then the, the photograph we have up is obviously your emotional response upon winning the game. Um, uh, uh, what, what, what do you think brought all this on? When well, now that you look back on it, this reaction? Yeah, I think a number of things. I think um, you know when you go through crazy, you know, times like that and uncertainty. You know, there's a lot of emotions, a lot of human emotions, and sometimes, you know, I'm, I wear my I wear my heart on my sleeve, and I'm not afraid of that. So, uh, I, I, it was a super emotional time, excited time. But you know, to watch our players go through all this craziness and people try to doubt that, you know, how good they were, and it was just it was just cool to watch our players play at that high level and play angry, play fast, play physical, and play for each other. And when you're part of a family. And something happens, good or bad, to your family. There's emotions involved, in it. and uh, we have a true family. So I think that's where that all came from. And uh, wanted to do it for Coach Harbaugh, and you know, and and prove his legacy of who he is as one of the greatest coaches to coach at Michigan. And then two weeks later, oh my goodness gracious! I mean, this. The, um, I mean, uh, it's tough for me to try and maintain my professionalism so I'm not gonna it, it was it was truly one of the most remarkable days to see you on the sideline for Michigan as the head coach against Ohio State and then beat the 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 you know the Buckeyes for a third straight time and um uh, and knowing that now you're you're undefeated still going to the Big 10 the entire uh construct of of doing it for coach and doing it for the team and doing it to prove everything that had been accused of the team that had been ripped out root and branch was not the cause of the success of you and the, 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 the awards that your offensive line was, was accruing under your tutelage and leadership and everything. Uh, And I'm wondering what that meant for you to have beaten Ohio state as a head coach of the university of Michigan, albeit, uh, in as you would say, interim only for the moment. Uh, man, everything. I mean, just winning that game, uh, regardless of whether you're the head coach or the you know office coordinator, O line coach, defense coordinator, it means it means everything. That's everything we work for all year. That's the standard we uphold ourselves in that program, and we'll continue to do so. 
Uh, we know everything we do and we work for, we're trying to beat them every single day. Uh, so it, it meant everything. And that's that's the game we work for. And I uh, was super excited for that moment, for our players, for our fans, for the university to continue what we've been doing. And, and we look to continue to uphold that standard. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.